almost there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Wild have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Takes the feed from the left side. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. to slow things down. Minnesota's won the draw inside the off. Scores! And the kid has his first in the NHL. Oh, that's got to feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment you won't forget. James and everyone on the bench is standing up congratulating him. What a moment. Cheryl, you coach a lot of young hockey players as a coach. What goes through your mind seeing a young player like that get his first goal? Well, you can see how excited the entire bench, including the coaches, for him, James, because you know the hard work and the sacrifice it is to get to this level. And then they get that first goal under your belt, the moment that you dreamt of. Everyone is aware of how it feels, so you're transcending that. You're feeling it for him. And that's off the club and will play off. A great goaltender who understands where the threats are. And this one's in the slot area, and he manages to get to position and make the save. Yeah, refs don't like that. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Graves knows how to score, and his team will be relying on that offensive upside to get ahead. Johns uses his wheel zone ability, which is his fast skating speed, to create plays. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Graves has the puck against the half wall. Denies him with the save. Michael's got it now deep inside his own end. Here's an offensive chance. The score! into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Minnesota's had the shot advantages and they also have the lead. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. A chance from below the wall! He was locked in there. Crisp's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. Now the goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Hurdles win the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Taken by Burns. Silverberg's moving the puck through his own zone. San Jose's got the puck. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Well, each team is going to lose a player here. It's going to be an offsetting call. Goss Despair is aware of his surroundings on the ice, and he's able to surprise incoming checkers with some pushback, guys. His back at your zone ability means he's not going down without a fight. 
Gostas Bear has got it in the defensive end. Odd man rush. Moves it quickly over Jacoibu. Looks to set up at the point now. And that doesn't reach the net. Here's the chance to set up now. Oh, smart heads up read. Driving right to the front. They score. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Sharks got off to a wonky start, but they seem to have found their footing here, Cheryl. Well, they certainly have. Now, they got behind the eight ball early here, James, but they are able to push their way back into this game now within one. And off the draw, they take the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. San Jose's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Nabokov. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Sharks have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Here he is from the slot. Fantastic save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. The Sharks win the draw here in their own end. San Jose's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Domi. Puts it on net. Gives them nothing in front. The Sharks slide the puck near the point. And that's blocked from someone in front. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Here's a shot. Wow, what a stop by Nabokov. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. Minnesota's game possession. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Quick pass to Burns. Score! San Lucas at it again. Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. We see players work on this all the time. James, it's about getting position, net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time, it winds up in the back of the net. Michael's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And now he angles it across to Johns. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Blocked in traffic. Sets the pass in front. And that's stopped. A field of points. Scores. What a finish on the play. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. for the rookie, and I can only imagine once he finally gets to his cell phone after the game, Cheryl, it'll be bumping, it'll be blowing up. Uh, it'll be blowing up all right, no question about it. I think it might have blown up after one, even two, but three, that's a whole <laughs> other stratosphere, isn't it, James? And that's just out of reach. And that's broken up by Johns. Too many bodies in the way. 
San Jose's got possession of the puck. Quick feed to Graves. Minnesota's got the puck. He got all of that one. Poked away by Suter. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Lowers the boom with that hit. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. With the stop. Minnesota's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Koibu's won the faceoff and now let's see what they can do. Handles the pass. Period number two in months. <laughs> and 
And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Sharks didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're behind in this one, they haven't had any possession time. Moves it to Benning. Moves it quickly over to Enron. separates him from the pack as he gets in on the breakaway and this is right in his wheelhouse he loves it when he's one-on-one -on -one. it's all but done when he's in this situation the wild have come to play in a big way tonight yeah right from puck drop to james i mean just the urgency around that initial opening face off they've been quicker all game long and it's reflective on the scoreboard lays into the body on the play minnesota's got the puck against the boards and that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone Minnesota's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Answered the call there. Nabokov's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. And he takes the feed. From the slot, wrist shot, denies him! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Here's a short pass to Kane. Bats it out of midair. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. San Jose's got it along the wall. And that's a smart heads-up play by Suter. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Quick pass to Hanzus. And he makes the save. The Sharks gain possession. And he handles the cross-ice pass. Quick feed to Benning. Handles the puck. dominated right from the start their offense clicking on all cylinders and they lead here in the second and they take possession off the draw here in their own end picks up the puck in his own end and he takes the dish moves it to Granlin and that carries off a body in traffic shoots it We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Minnesota's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Graves setting up against the wall. Here's an opportunity. Comes up with a stop. Here's a rip! Scores! Well, a sign that they haven't rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. San 
and Jose has apparently just shown up for this one here, Cheryl. Yeah, they get on the board after being shelled all game. They haven't had many shots on net either, but now they've got to find a way to be aggressive, play physical, and really send a message. The mindset has to change here. Listen, they've got nothing to lose. They might as well go for it and attack. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Pass across to Graves. Broken up in the neutral zone by Scandella. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Sharks have played on their own end. The Sharks played along the wing. Takes the pass. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. They complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now and makes the save. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going and he was ready for it. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Takes a shot. Oh, solid save by Novakov. He got all of that one. As a power forward in the game. Yeah, they're going to fight here. There's been an edge all game and a chip on the shoulder, and it results in a player down. Anytime a player's down, you know that you're going to have your teammates back. This was going to happen either way. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. Both benches showing respect for each of their players that are heading over to the penalty box. That was a tough one. It's purely exhausting to be in a fight like this, and they're just corralling their stuff and getting back to the box. Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Novakov. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Minnesota's been finding the net all game long, and this one found the post. It didn't hit the back of the net, but they've got a healthy, comfortable lead, and they have their opponents scrambling. This has been a fun one to watch. No coaching staff is going to like it. And the puck's knocked loose. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Rocks him on the play. Fires it. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. And that goes off a stick. And the puck's kicked free. Taken by Burns. Sends a pass over. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Graves. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Shot! And that's blocked away. Granlund's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, what a chance here! Oh, spectacular save to shut down the rush! Here's a short pass to Benny. Takes the feed. Quick shot! Makes the save! San Jose, he's got a hold of it along the wall. That goes off a twig. Picked up along the boards by Suter. Quick pass to Forsling. And now he moves it to Nomi. He says, let's get physical on that play. Sends the pass over. Quick feed to Cullen. And he takes the pass. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Feeds it over to Domi. Here's a shot! Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop! Down the left wing and into the offensive zone! Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Oh, had his head down in the corner and got rocked! where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. 
And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. Tries to get it over to oh. Fire it, And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. No second shot opportunity. Burns carries it through the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. And he makes the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tosses it on to Suter. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the club. San Jose is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And he's going to hang on to the whistle into this place. Oh, it's electric in here. Everyone up on their feet to get a standing ovation after that beauty. Minnesota's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Colby's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Silverberg's going to play it against the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Burns. The Sharks have it now. Hanzus plays it against the boards. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Burns. 
Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Sedina stick handling in his own zone. Slick feed. Minnesota's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Sturms won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop! What a hit on the play! Oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Let's it rip! And that goes off the player in front. Oh, look at this. They have really started to apply the pressure now. Gets the puck over to Vlasic. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sedina. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Ferraro's got the puck. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell, and he's down for the count. Minnesota's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Gostas Bears gain the line and on the attack. Feeds it down low. Takes a shot. And that's blocked in trouble. There's the whistle. We'll get a faceoff after the goalie covers up. New Jersey's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Michaels won the draw here in their own zone. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Champion. And that's turned aside. Big stop by the keeper. John's dropped the mitts earlier and spent five minutes in the box for fighting, and he's no good there. He's got to find a way to generate opportunities and get himself back in this game. Standing by, Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. John's was the more noticeable player, in my opinion, guys. Being able to generate chances is how he contributed to his team today. Scores! The rookie punch is tenth of the season. I think no matter who you are, you come into a season and you apply pressure to yourself, your own personal expectations. I think this number is a nice number for him, James. I think they'll be happy with number 10. You see players working on this all the time in practice, real tight to the net, just that quick release shot. It's got to be on the stick and off the stick. Well, it transfers to the game tonight. San Jose's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Suter. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Takes the feed. And that one's stopped. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. And he takes the feed. He got all that hit. Slides the puck over. Shot! Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Hit along the boards, and there's no give there. And look at this, they're going prison rules. Some players get involved by physically engaging, and that's how they play their best. And these two certainly showing that this is their best. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. The Sharks gain some adrenaline from that fight. Listen, you're the way team, and you want to silence the crowd, you win that fight, you do it.
And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed and we're ready to drop the puck once again. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Sharks carry it along the wall. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Minnesota showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big time. And off the draw, they win possession. Moves the puck. Quick pass to Hensus. Feeds the puck to Hurdle. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Quick feed to Silverberg. San Jose's got the puck. Levels him with the hit. They've got some momentum here. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves it to Granlin. Great glove save by Nabokov. Minnesota's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. Granlin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a of body. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Drives to the sweet spot. And he denied him there. The Sharks take it along the wing. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Minnesota's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Puck grab by Benning. Handles the pass. Here's a chance to the middle. Looking to make something happen along the boards. What a block of stop and point blank range by Nabokov. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And play continues as that goes off the glove. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. And they keep the pressure on. That knocks him off the puck. Scrum along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Champion. There's another hit on the play. He's going to feel turn. Puts it off the post. Minnesota's players can't get too frustrated here with the multiple hit post, James. They're in the lead. They've been effective in the offensive zone, and they're continually generating some shots. The Sharks take possession of the neutral zone. A shot. Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Sports, I'm Jane Sabolski, and we will see you next time from Ringside.